Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great weekend. In this video, I'm gonna go through uh, the reason why NEO is my top investment. And uh, I'm not gonna go through the details or go through the model. I'm just gonna uh, give you a little story from uh, my story uh, and why I ended up choosing NEO. Okay, so 10 years ago when I lost uh, all my investments and I actually had lines of credit and even credit cards and all that good stuff uh, I ended up uh, losing everything and I ended up uh, in uh, in trouble big trouble and uh, it wasn't easy it was actually extremely difficult time uh, I came to rea to the realization that uh, I was alone it was the first time in my life as far as I remember, I felt alone, completely alone. No, no one to help, no one to help. Even though I may have had a, a friend or a brother who could have helped me, but uh, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't going to be enough anyways because the damage is so severe. Um, so, but the feeling that you just alone and I know if you had this feeling if you know I had one time sickness that gave me the feeling I was like oh I'm like maybe this is it <laughs> sometimes you have this right you just you just uh, you know don't feel well or something and you think uh, okay you know there's really nobody and not a mother not a father not a wife not a brother nobody nobody can help you just by yourself so yeah, we're talking about money. Okay, yeah, whatever. Money comes and goes. Yeah, money when you have some left, but when you have nothing, it's it's pretty difficult. It it's it's uh, depressing. So, um, but I realized that having I had I had friends, I had colleagues, I had I I, I knew a lot of people, right? Uh, I realized that uh, no one could save me. And no one was even like, okay, oh, yeah, somewhere, like, yeah, they could feel sorry for me, fine, but, yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay? So, when you, when you fall, you fall by yourself. You know, at best, you're going to have somebody who feels a little sorry for you. That's it, at best. But you're going to have the pain by yourself. It's like, it's like end of life kind of feeling, but... You know maybe not to that severity the only good positive thing about this is you're the one who made up yourself and and you could uh, you could uh, you could do it again you know from from zero you're just having you're just gonna have a tough start zero start so um so when i got back in the market again um i had to justify to myself that i understood what went wrong and that I'm a different person now you know I'm sounding like this televangelist guy who uh, tried to give, convince people to listen to him uh, because he did everything wrong <laughs> you know he said uh, you know I did uh, like uh, you name it I did uh, adultery I did it you know uh, uh, you know uh, uh, what do you call it uh, drugs uh, I did it uh, uh, alcoholism uh, anything 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 bad you know I did it so but then you know he, he came to God so therefore you have to listen to him <laughs> that's not that it sounds like this but that's not the case you know but uh, it just crossed my mind um, so I, I did realize that um, what's the point of having uh, 50 friends or 100 friends one uh, one in tough times uh, only one or two will come to help you what's the point and so so I realized that uh, that actually having if I have to rank them from best to worst the, the worst guy it probably be a burden you know probably just be a burden that same thing with stocks uh, stocks you don't need 50 or 100 or 30 even 20 I had one time like 20 stocks and the more you have the more you look like you, you know you know you know what you're doing you're smart I have 20 stocks 25 stocks you know actually that was 
very bad. So I learned the number one lesson from that is that diversification is, is, is horrible, is a horrible thing to do. And in, in fact, it's similar to dilution. The more you diversify, the more you're going to dilute your, your juicy shares, uh, your juicy stocks. Uh, if you invest in the company you believe in, based on the model that I, uh, I set up, you know, the, the three main points, you know, the sector, look for the sector, the best growth sector, the best uh, model for the company and the CEO. These are the three things that, uh, that uh, you know, I look for. If you invest based on, on those, you would feel comfortable. You would feel like you understand. You don't have to worry about the, the, the investment too much. But if you start investing in, you know, crypto or some, some stuff that you have no clue, then what happens is you have no idea. You have no idea. And not knowing is a bad thing. To me, by the way, anything I say is, is just my opinion, my chit chat stuff. Please do your own research. So, yeah, it's uh, I, you know, you, you worry. Hey, I don't know about this company. I don't know about this. It's like, it's the same as if you, you know, you, you're partnering with somebody in a restaurant. You don't know the guy. You, you worry. Hey, I partnered with this guy. Do you, do you know him? Like, really? You're asking about him after you partnered with him? You should have asked before. This guy is blah, 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 blah. You go like, oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know. I wish I knew before. Like, well, you should have asked before. That's part of that's part of how things go. You say, oh, okay, let me think about it. But then you ask. So uh, you need to know the company. Uh, and that's how, I, and, and so in theory, you only need one. Just like you, you have a, you know, friends. You you only need one best friend that can sacrifice for you to help you, right? And so you only need one stock. But you may not know that one stock. So you choose this, the second best. Like you can have two friends, it's fine. Okay, so you choose the second one or the third one and that's it you don't go too far the, the if you start going to 10 and 20 then you have to ask yourself a question do i really understand what's happening with with these companies are you really following them or are you just uh just uh you know in them because you don't want to lose uh the opportunity just in case just in case they do well See, I, I don't invest anymore in just in case I don't know but who knows I don't invest in who knows I invest in I know right these are the things that got me in trouble in the past and you could do much better if I maybe I'll choose a stock that 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 I'm so convinced 1000% and end up and you choose 30 and you do way better than me that's possible is it possible sure it is sure it is oh I missed uh, some details here or there or I missed some information um, I remember a couple of years ago um, Kathy Woods uh, was adamant about uh, well maybe not adamant but was uh, suggesting recommending to uh, invest in uh, workhorse remember workhorse uh, you know when at that time I was like full percent into or 100% in, in, in the EV sector. So I knew about a lot of them. And one of them definitely was workers. And, uh, and she doubled down on it when, when the stock came down crashing. Um, so anyways, remember that? And, and uh, the stock was about 20 bucks. Check the stock today, not even $1. 60 70 cents last time I checked a few few days ago I guess so um, yeah this is coming from top investor firm uh, recommending to do this and that and investing millions and millions and millions of dollars on a stock that 
lost 98%, 97%, something like this. Are you kidding me? I mean, this is this is why you have to do the uh, the research yourself. You have to convince yourself. Okay, what did I do? I could have fallen in this in the past. I could have fallen. And by the way, she would not be affected. I mean, if I ended up investing and she invested, because she would invest small amount, percentage was, right? She would invest 0.1 percent of. So it's it's not gonna make much difference, even if the whole company go bazook. But for me, it's a big deal. I'm a private investor. I have limited funds. I have limited this. I have limited that. It could hurt me. So it's big deal for me. So I can't do this, right? So that's the stuff I'm talking about. Um, uh, to do your own research and not rely on anyone. Okay. Um, so uh, what else? Uh, um, so diversification is, is not necessarily a good thing. Diversification, uh, to me, I, I learned that diversification is actually horrible. It's like dilution, only, only five or ten times worse. Really bad, really bad. You have to invest in companies that you understand, you know, you studied. And if you, uh, uh, I, even Apple, I mean, like, for example, Apple, I had some videos, a couple of videos on Apple or mentioned Apple. You know, Apple is not an investment to me. Amazon, oh my God, it's not even an investment at all. Amazon, are you kidding me? Amazon? You invest in Amazon? Oh, some people put it top, whatever. <laughs> it's not. It's not. If you, you know what? I'll give you a hint. Check Amazon last five years. Last five years, Amazon. And see the return. After five years, probably gave you like, what, 50%? That's it. After five years. Check, uh, check Tesla, over 1,000%, 13, 1,400% in five years. So which one is an investment? Better investment. Why would you invest in something that would give you 50% after five years of waiting? Are you kidding me? This is the investment is about, you know, the best that would give you ROI. Remember that return on investment it's not about uh oh, i have um, i have stocks in amazon big deal you have stocks in amazon who the hell cares you have a, i have stocks in apple i wouldn't even look at that at all i, I have i'm gonna have a video on apple and uh, and uh, tesla i'm gonna show you why you know no matter what i'm not gonna put a penny in apple okay so so that's my um that's my take. Um, invest in something. That's why I, I did the research enough in all these things. The X-Bank, the Lee Auto, the Neo, the Rivian, the Lucid, the, you know, the Nikolai. Remember Nikolai? <laughs> oh my God, I remember. I was just commenting on the internet that Nikolai, this, this looks like fraud. I mean, this is... You know, Americans like to talk about Chinese fraud. I said, this is, this is fraud. Speaking of fraud, this is fraud at its best. Unbelievable. Noel turned out to be right. The only thing is I don't do options. If I did options, I would have done wonders in that. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to look into that because I'm, I'm not an option guy. I just I invest and that's it. Um, uh, the next questionable one to me is actually lucid. Lucid, lucid, holy schmoly. Lucid is just another uh, funny one. Uh, so there are a lot of them. Uh, one time a guy asked me about uh, Lord, uh, Lordstown. Okay, you look at the model. You look at the model. Lordstown based on uh, workhorse uh, design. I mean, how can you have a company based on someone, another company's design? And you start your manufacturing and hope that I mean this is there's no vision there's nothing you just you just building something there out of nothing and then when they got the money you know from from uh, uh, IPO they and waited for the time they start taking their money like as quick as possible let's let's cash out anyways maybe maybe I'm missing some stuff there I, I wasn't following this like really carefully but but the bottom line is you invest in the model in the model 
if you had known that that Apple would have uh, given you for every dollar uh, uh, back in the day, you know, fifty uh, fifty thousand dollars, you wouldn't worry about anything. You wouldn't even care what others did. All you had to do is just put some money in Apple, say bye bye, thank you, that's it. I don't care. The world can do whatever, right? But you didn't know. So the big question is, how would you know? I know, uh, I know some firms use this uh, Monte Carlo simulation, like uh, Kathy would. I think she, she does that, and kind of funny. I'm, I'm gonna have a video on this, tell you what the Monte Carlo simulation stuff. And uh, because I did take training one time on uh, crystal balls. Okay, so <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, if you had known, you would have uh, been stuck with Apple uh, or, or whatever, right? And I think that's why, you know, looking at the models, looking at all these things and, 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 and following uh, uh, the uh, the uh, the EV companies uh, carefully. I, I chose Neo by. I didn't even I didn't even invest anything in like Li Auto or or or, or X Bang or Lucid. Rivian looks uh, interesting, but still, like I said before, it's still too uh, little too early for me. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, Tesla. Tesla is Tesla. You know, Tesla is actually good. I mean, we're. Tesla is, is, is interesting because of the growth. If, if Tesla has a growth like, uh, like Apple, of course not. You know, of course not. You wouldn't invest in something that's not growing. Okay. So that's why NEO is my uh, top investment. is because I did uh, uh, a lot of research on it. And because, I, because it's a best friend. Right? For me. Think about this, if you are in trouble and you need uh, uh, and you need someone to help you and you have gangs all around you, by the way, the stock market looks like that, it's all kind of maybe gangs all over the place, right? And you, you need somebody to help you. Who do you choose? Who do you call? You have a phone, you have a phone, you have to call one person. Who do you call? Arnold Schwarzenegger or uh, Pee Wee? Who do you call? Huh? You need you call you call someone who is coming. Hey, hey, I'm coming to help you. <laughs> oh, you don't do that. Oh, please don't do that. <laughs> you probably you probably have to save him. If the gangs come, you probably have to help him. <laughs> no, you need you need I'll be back guy. You know that kind of guy. Okay, that to me, you know. Losing the big stocks in the past, the Netflix and the Amazon. Amazon was great, by the way. All these, I mean, don't don't misunderstand me that these are not good companies. These are wonderful companies, but they happened in a time, you know, that's like behind us. It's behind us, you have to think of the future. Investment is in the future, not in the past. Okay, so. Uh, so that's what I'm uh, talking about. It's 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 Neo. I think I'm convinced, and I could be wrong. I've been wrong all my life, anyways. Uh, but uh, I'll have some more details about this in in uh, another video. Thank you, and uh, bye bye.